We begin this episode of Florida Roadside Attractions in Abandoned Places alongside of US Highway 41, north of Tampa, Florida, in Pasco County. I have now stepped foot off of 41 back into these woods along this fence line back that way here in Lando Lakes, Florida. There's something I want to see. Just some thick brush to walk through. As you can see, it's morning and the sun's coming up. And through the woods I found a clearing. Almost looks like a cattle pasture, but I don't see any cattle. Look how gorgeous it is out here right now. Such a beautiful morning to begin a video. I'm very grateful. Look at this overturned golf cart. Just left out here. Whoa, there's a couple others here. Looks like a uh, golf cart dumping ground. And I believe what I'm looking for is right on the other side of this mess here. Look at this. Bugs are really bad back here. Well, there's something you don't find in the woods every day. Look at this toy. Step two. Who knows how long that's been sitting there. All right, here we go. Abandoned house in the woods. Let's check it out. See a lot of profanities on the wall in here, on the drywall. Some graffiti. Doors closed. Looks like a bedroom. Yeah. Who knows how long this has been sitting back here vacant. Got a duck here before the door. This looks like it was a beautiful house, maybe 1960s. Hello? Anyone home? Looks like there's been cattle in here. Look at the fireplace, that's beautiful. Or it used to be. Haunts on. Ooh. Check this out, anyone here? Bathtub still there. That old tile. Yeah. Shower, sink. Another bedroom here. Not much going on in here. Look at there. That's the window I peeked through a moment ago. Door's closed. It goes this way. Probably just go right out that door. There's where we came into. Looks like there's been a bunch of kids out here. Talk about a great view back here. This looks like it used to be a kitchen. Look at that. You go all the way through it. Maybe they had a pool or something out here. Oh, carport. This might be the laundry room. Oh, it used to be. Oh, another bathroom out here. Mother Nature. Yeah, this is cool. Always good beginning the videos on this series with some abandoned stuff. All right. Oh, look at that. There's a trailer back here. Just keeps coming. And a bicycle. Hey, is that a Roadmaster bike? Used to have one of those. And now it's time to get out of these woods find my car and officially begin this video. And we continue the roadside attractions and abandoned places journey right here in Sumter County. We've come about 45 minutes north from Pasco. And welcome to Florida Scenic Highway 478 Alpha. We will take this road to the small town that we're exploring today. Let's see if we find anything along the way. Whoa, that didn't sound good. Just stopped here along 47. Uh, whoa, you hear that? Fired up the camera. <laughs> uh, I think that's gunfire, but I just happened to stop here to show you this boat access ramp right amongst this road we just turned off of. There's a public boat access, a little picnic area, a dock, and a restroom. Right here in Sumter County, Roy Bug Story Park, Webster, Florida. Now standing on the dock down here, this looks like it could be a canoe or kayak launch. The boat launch right there beside the road, just next to it. The water pretty high, or the bridge pretty low. This is beautiful out here. 
Hear a lot of fish jumping. Could be some alligator out there. I wouldn't want to jump in here though. It says no swimming. Look how murky that water is. And other than a few, po and other than a couple cars passing by, and the sound of a shotgun in the distance, it's a pretty peaceful spot. And welcome to Webster. According to the 2020 census, Webster is home to 778 people. If you've heard of Webster, Florida, you probably think of the famous flea market, which we're standing before right now at the Sumter County uh, Market, which I have been to before out here with my grandparents several years ago. They lived a little north of here in Wildwood. This is a famous flea market out here on the weekends. I believe, actually, I, I think they, they only do this on Monday. However, there's a restaurant out here, and also um, there's a cattle auction, all kinds of things. But if you, when you hear Webster and you think of Florida, this is what you think of. Little did I know, though, there's a small town just south of here on 471. And that's why I wanted to come up here today. I want to check out Webster the town. Welcome back to the channel and welcome if it's your first time. I am Tampa J and in the summer of 2020 I began this series here on this channel called Florida Roadside Attractions and Abandoned Places and I'm so excited to present to you today another nook and cranny, another little town in Florida. Welcome to Webster. There's much ahead. Let's check this place out. And so we begin in Webster at the corner of 1st Avenue and 1st Street. This old general store is for sale. Check it out. Built in 1922. I know that because it says it right there. Corner of the building. Former main entrance, if I had to say, down here. Check this out. This old advertisement. Oh boy, vitamin D bread. Who remembers that? Oh boy. I use that expression a lot. Oh boy. Do you know where I got that? From my all-time favorite TV show. Those are the words of Dr. Sam Beckett at the beginning of every Quantum Leap episode. Yep. Oh boy. Check this tree out. The Spanish moss. Springtime here in Florida, but it feels a lot like summer already. It is heating up. On this side of this general store, you've got a sign here. Grocery, meat, and produce sun bursting through it just a look at what's left of it look at that that's really cool yeah cool building for sale right here on first avenue gone just to show you what's going on up there is 471 the main highway the flea market where we started back to the right you've got kind of this park down along first avenue in between all of the buildings welcome to downtown webster there are so many things to see along this street and back out along 471. I will be on foot for most of this video. I saw a lot of cool stuff I want to see. And back near Highway 471 here on 1st, something of very Americana going on here. Check out all these road signs. This is just the back side of this building. Wow, we got Burger King over there, Marathon, and then I see a KFC bucket down along that way so just to show you what I'm about to do I'm gonna go on the front side of this building this looks awesome talk about a classic setup I was just out in Texas actually uh, where Elvis got arrested trying to think of the name of that town right now Hillsboro Hillsboro Texas and there was a golf gas station in pristine condition and I shared that in the video so this is pretty cool to see one Whoa. Pretty cool to see one here in Florida, especially with a classic car right behind there. A Monzo and a lot of other things right down here. Sorry about the noise, it's a busy highway behind me. Aiming my camera through the fence, look at all of the old Coke machines. The old telephone booth. Circuits of time, dude, that looks like the one from Bill and Ted's. I see a lot of roads, I see a Kentucky road sign and also a McDonald's golden arch over to the left. This is pretty cool. Even that sign is cool. Look at that. There you go. Buy, sell, and trade. Don's Toys. And just below it, a snowmobile. Can't really use that in Florida, can you? It's an old Johnson. That's pretty neato. And out beyond, look, all the signs. We got Ashland, we've got Shell, Dairy Queen, KFC, uh, Fina, and Standard. And also, look at that old car out there. 
Okay, this is pretty freaking cool. Don's got quite a collection here. Everybody needs a little KFC. That's amazing. What a collection, oh my gosh. That's an old Caprice, by the way. Good job, Don. I would love to get inside this place someday. It's very awesome. And before First Avenue, right here on the corner, there's a giant rooster who appears to have been partying for Mardi Gras. He's got some beads there. What I noticed right behind him though, this old electric pole from the former gas station. Look at the age of this. This is as old as the building. Look at that rust. Classic lamp post alert. Look at that. Looks like there used to be a sign that hung there too as well. Maybe the old golf sign. 10, 12 a.m. on this good Friday, April 7th. This is the main entrance to First Avenue aka Main Street. There's some businesses up and down the highway here which I will come back and walk to down that way. Some things I wanna show you. Also something right here behind the sign. By the way, looks like Webster was established in 1855. So technically this is Central and Market right here on the corner of the highway. Looks like this building was established in 1944. Old Coca-Cola signs. This is an antique store, the Florida Native. And the doors are open. Don't know if we'll go in there, but definitely something that I would love to go through. Perhaps Chris the girl and I would come up here and go antiquing. We need some stuff for the apartment, some furniture. I just wanted to show you what was going on with this building. It's very awesome. Especially with the Coke signs. Oh, this looks lovely. Yeah. First I want to walk down First Avenue or Central Avenue. I guess that's first. This is central. And I don't typically film on Fridays. Just so happens my work, my regular job, honors Good Friday. So we have today off. So woke up just like I normally do every day at 5.30 a.m. But this time I put on the hat and glasses and I hit the road. So here we are. And just one building over from the antique store, City of Webster. This looks like some sort of a municipal building. Oh, City Hall. There you go. And the Star Spangled Banner flying high right here catching wind at First and Central. We're walking this way. And below the flag, there's a plaque. Eagle Scout Project Alexander Neesmith, Troop 439, October 22nd, 2022, Bee Pollinator Garden, Boy Scouts of America. So yeah, this is a bee-friendly community. I was reading on the sign up there, Bee City USA, there's tons of plants. Shout out to Chris the girl. She'd know exactly what these are, but these are pollinators. They're me meant to keep bees around. Just want to shout out the troop there, right below the flag here at City Hall, Star Spangled Banner. And there's a couple old buildings right over here. These look pretty cool. Looks like an old theater or something. By the way, the general store right there on the corner. Yeah, such a beauty. Two buildings right next to each other, right here on first. Really like the one to the right, the brickwork. It's very unique looking. Yeah, so on the bottom of the entryway right here, there's some tile. You'll see it in a second. Check this out. By the way, another pollinator here. This smells really good. Whatever that is. Oh, fresh flowers. But right here, there's something written. Let's see if we can make that out. Okay, I put it together. Sumter County State Bank. It's the old bank building. It's pretty awesome. Check out the old doorbell. That's pretty cool. And come down the sidewalk along first. There's the building, the old bank. Pretty neato. I think there is someone actually living in that. So I backed away when, once I realized it. I was like, oh wait. I just normally, you know, you see a building like that. It looks the way it does. You don't think anyone lives in there. So my bad. <laughs> Apologize uh, if I woke anyone up. There goes some hay. Hey! Where you going? And downtown really dies right here at the end of first. You got this old barn here. Again, looking back towards the bank. I smell something really good and a lot of activity uh, is coming from that building down there. A lot of folks stopping. I think we'll make that a stop on the way back, but I just wanted to show you this old platform. Just sitting out here in the middle of this field at the end of the downtown area. Wonder what it used to be. It could have been an old schoolhouse or something. Maybe a warehouse, just an old slab, and it looks like it's been sitting here for quite some time. Webster. 
other than the highway, just a quiet town. Yeah, something smells really good and it's coming from that yellow building on the right. Notice that all three of these buildings look very similar. Look at that. All the same shape. Okay, what is this? Aroma. Doe J's chicken and donuts. A whole lot of soul. Oh, I like the pun there. Little hole in the wall here. I think that's what they're implying. Donut hole, get it? All right, gonna check this out. Maybe I'll get some chicken and donuts. Also, I notice right over here they have like a, a patio area out beyond that live oak. They're open. Let's check it out. Okay, this place looks awesome. I'm gonna get some donuts. And I think we've stumbled upon a hidden gem once again. Yes, they have donuts in here, fresh baked donuts, $1.50 each, also hot food, and of course chicken. I think it might be too early for chicken though, but they do have hot breakfast food. Biscuits and gravy, that sounds really good right now. Maybe I'll do that. Also check out all these donuts. They got Long John's, they got apple fritters. Ooh, look at that thing. All right, that looks amazing. Oh, look. Fruity Pebbles donuts sprinkles maple glazed bacon donut oh man that's tempting you hear that espresso machine oh i love that sound i used to work in a coffee shop myself so i was talking to the ladies behind the counter and i can eat chicken i can order it so i did also got a donut and the owner which is in this picture right here his name is jay look at that that's amazing thanks jay also i like their logo there that chicken rooster okay so i got my food here also got a sweet tea i'm gonna go out here and do a little taste testing ta-da all right Let's see how it goes got a giant donut two-piece mixed chicken got a little wing a little breast and a biscuit i think this was like 850 uh that was a dollar 50 and i got the sweet tea about 13 bucks all together less a nice tip this is cool too look at this Right across from the general store where we started, out beyond there, the post office, and then looking back, nice little patio here beneath the tree, looking back at Doje's chicken and donuts. Let it begin. Wow, that's good. Reminds me of my hometown donut shop back in Indiana when I was a kid, Jack's Donuts. A lot like Jack's, that's really good. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. I don't know if that was made, I forgot to ask if it was broasted. Maybe made in a cast iron skillet. That is delicious, oh my gosh. Tender and juicy, the flavor. Hidden gem right here. Doje's, love the name. Shout out to the crew in there, thanks for uh, the lovely hospitality. To me with fried chicken, it's all about the crispiness. I always get extra crispy at KFC. That is perfect. The flavor is so good. And further gone, that was delicious. I will be back. All right, I'm gonna stay on foot. I'm gonna go back up to 471 and hang a left. There's quite a few things along the highway there to the left that I wanna see. And this mural right here in front of this antique store depicting the Florida cattle, the oranges, the birds, the frontier. Painted by Monica Turner. Just wanted to show you heading this way, down 471. And across the highway here, Publix truck. Looks like the front window of an old florist. Tompkins Florist. The sign in the window does say open, but it doesn't look like they're open. Also, just to the right, behind it, this old shack. Look at this old cracker shack. This caught my eye as I was first coming into town. Just wanted to see it. A break in the busy highway, crossing the highway. Check this out. This old shack beside the road. I saw these two shacks over here as I was coming into town. And I said, hey, I gotta come back to that. 
Look at this. Old tin roof. Don't know if anyone's living in there. There might be. Very neat out. It's also a giant, giant tree sitting to the left of this. Yeah, there's a no trespassing sign right there. I don't think anyone's in there. Look at the old chimney, the fireplace. Yeah, that's an old one. Yeah, not, not one big giant oak tree, but two, actually three, all the way to the end of that property there. And another old house. Actually, this is uh, the same house, just reversed. Look at that. And it looks like whoever owns this property is celebrating, celebrating the holiday. Sunday is Easter. Look at that. Just showing you, letting the camera roll as usual. Two very old houses right here on the south side of Webster. And right across the street, I hear some sirens coming, just to warn you. Look at this old bungalow. That's an old one, right next to Webster Elementary School. Yeah, there's an ambulance coming. Hope everyone's okay. And at the corner post of this old farm fence, just a sign, a random sign, stuck in the ground, Florida wildflowers, celebrating 500 years of La Florida, land of flowers. All right, making my way back towards the way I came. A little closer look at this house. It's beautiful, isn't it? I'd love to live there. Nice porch. It's what we call a bungalow. Old barn too, out back. Original barn. Below the family dollar sign, right before the family dollar sign saying Garden of Memory Cemetery and First Baptist Church of Webster, one block to the right. So I'm gonna go that way. Kinda heading back towards downtown where I parked. It's not too far off the beaten path. Well, I've found the Baptist Church. Haven't found the cemetery yet. It being Eastern Sunday, they've got the uh, purple sash across the crucifix. And also, there's a sign here that says egg hunt Saturday at 11 a.m., so tomorrow. I bet the cemetery is probably a little further down the road here. I ran out of sidewalk, though. So I'm just kind of walking beside the road. Also, this shade feels really good. It's gotten hot out here. Garden of Memories Cemetery, okay. Took a turn here. Looks like it's beyond this church on the other side. Webster United Methodist Church. I was assuming that the cemetery would be right beyond the backside of the church. However, it's not. The sign says to keep going. It's down here somewhere. I would have got my car if I would have known. Oh yeah, definitely going back to the car. That's like a mile away. Maybe I should have checked the map to begin with, duh. Talk about a wild grave chase. <laughs> and this might look familiar. All right, back over here on first. My car not too far away. Anxious to see how warm it is out here. Let's see, 79 degrees. Feels like 100. Thankfully I bought this big water before I left. Thirsty. And the road dead ends right into the cemetery. Actually takes a curb right by it. Gardens of Memory, 624 Southeast, 3rd Avenue. Looks like there's some old headstones in here. Oh yeah, this is pretty. Let's check it out. I parked right in front of this massive live oak tree. Huge. Road back that way. Webster, back that way. And it looks like right up front here is the oldest part of the cemetery. Always like exploring that part. Let's see how old this place is. The Brown family. John Brown. No, not the abolitionist. 
This John L. Brown was born in 1847. Looks like he died in 1931 and buried beside his wife. If I had to guess, Laura, Leora, I like that name. Leora Jane Brown, May 23rd, 1870, died a few years after John, August 1986. I'm sorry, 1936. Okay, Reverend Joseph P. Davis, January 19th, 1859. Passed away February 2nd, 1936. This just kind of sits here. Here's a unique shape headstone. Mother, father, rejoin June 3rd, 1934. Melissa A. Curry and John D. Curry. Looks like Melissa uh, passed in 34, John in 1913. And we have a family of Churchills buried out here in memory of Mrs. A. P. R. Churchill, born June 28th. 1863 died July 2nd 1914 and Mr. Churchill APR Churchill uh, 1859 March 9th 1859 passed away September 25th 1937 I'm always courteous not to step on the grave site I was just kind of stepping in between but I just wanted to show you the whole family right here of Churchill's We've got Frank, we've got Dixie, we've got Porter, and we've got Mother Pearl. Mother Pearl Churchill Hall, 1884 to 1930. Yeah, not as old as some of the cemeteries we featured here on this, uh, this series, but close to it. The one we saw uh, last episode down in Homeland was probably the oldest I've seen. There was graves in there from the early 1800s. John H. Hughes, not to be confused with the legendary John Hughes buried up in Chicago. Big John Hughes fan, movie king of the 80s. March 18th, 1868, October 7th, 1946. Woodman of the World Memorial. Normally these are shaped like tree trunks, this one, just a unique shake, the Woodman of the World. You see these across America, this organization. Uh, William F. Hayes, February 18th, 1867, November 28th, 1913. And there you go. There's a traditional tombstone, the tree trunk for the Woodman of the World. This is John D. Sparkman. Born September 23rd, 1859, died August 12th, 1913. About the same time as, uh, ooh, as the last one did back there. Huh. All right, I always have to do this. Whoops. Get out of here. Don't follow me home. I come in peace and respectfully and I leave the same way. Don't follow me home. And driving on the north side of town now, Cattle pasture, live oak trees, little calf there. Heading towards the water tower right here. He's like, I haven't heard that one before. Webster, not just the town of a flea market. Pretty cool town. Enjoyed my time here. Hope you did as well, my friends. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up right down there. Thank you so much for doing that. Thank you so much for watching. And if it was your first time and you'd like to subscribe to the channel and come back for more adventures just like this one, make sure you do so. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and that'll let you know when the next video is going to be. I always like to explain that sometimes because a lot of people click on these videos from outside of YouTube, whether it be Facebook, Google, uh, Twitter, Instagram. Just want to let them know for the first time, viewers out there, that this is a channel and there is much behind. I have a lot of videos in the much behind as well as there will be in the future, the much ahead. So just always like to uh, reiterate that sometimes. Uh, and 
thanks for watching all the regulars out there the subs everyone whether you just joined a day ago a week ago a month ago year four or five years ago i just want to say to everyone i really appreciate you joining me for these videos um there is so much to see here in florida so much that has never been showed before even if it's just going down the small streets the quiet streets of a town like webster i look forward to documenting all of that as much as i can with the amount of time i've been blessed with so if you like that stuff uh or if you like other stuff like filming locations and uh theme parks and everything that everything that i love in this heart that's basically what comes out just simply documenting my experiences okay so i'll see you next time everyone know you're awesome know you're loved and no matter who you are what you're going through know that there's always much ahead for you yes you talking to you keep your head up put one foot in front of the other there's going to be another video always much ahead it's not just a statement it's a way of life another boarded up abandoned home here in webster right here at the end for you sign says beware of dog also there's like an alleyway check this out Northeast 2nd Street continues, but it turns into this. Whoa. Gonna go on through. This is pretty cool. Look at that. Oh, you can see the back side of this house. It's pretty gnarly. Hope we don't get stuck back here streets of Webster <laughs> all right everyone know you're awesome know you're loved and again there's much ahead cows okay I just did a circle look at that there's the water tower okay see you next time everyone bye-bye want to go up there Arnie I want to go up there